Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Let's just really think about what the Democratic Party is asking you to do right now. The same people who destroyed your businesses, same people who destroyed your 401k, the same people who made you pay higher gas prices, go into your savings, the same people who tried to force the mask on your children, the same people who were trying to lock you up for opening your business, 401k went down, gas prices went up, inflation's up, food's up. These people are now saying, re-elect us and hire us again. They haven't even admitted that they've done anything wrong. As These are not helpful hints. Uh, this is not uh, if you really want to be a great citizen. Uh, these are legal provisions. They will be enforced. There will be a civil fine and mandatory closure for any business that is not in compliance. Again, your actions can affect my health. That's where we are. As a matter of fact, if you ask those people, just ask Anthony Fauci. He said he had nothing to do with the lockdown. If you go all over the world, Australia, if you go to Germany, all these countries, UK, France, they were locking people up. People were dying whose loved ones was in nursing homes. You couldn't even visit your, your loved one in nursing homes. While these same people were just going about their regular lives, they were going to parties, they were having big events. Through the Michigan COVID recovery plan, we may fall on the priority list of supplies and as a result see a slowdown in our vaccination rates. This is a very real threat. Michigan has been a leader and we have been able to get the supplies we need. But if those dollars aren't appropriated quickly enough, that could be at risk, which means our recovery will take longer. Our vaccination rates could um, decline. While they were telling you, stay at home. We'll give you some crumbs to stay at home. Now they're saying, rehire us. They're admitting that the lockdowns was not successful. They're, they're admitting that the lockdown, lockdowns was unnecessary. They're admitting that the masses were unnecessary. We need and to acknowledge as we go through COVID when we have made mistakes. This government made, I think, a grave mistake in the spring when we made, frankly, I think a stupidly arbitrary distinction between essential and non-essential retail businesses that had the unintended consequence of allowing Walmarts and Costco's to sell darn near everything because they have a grocery section or they sell pharmaceuticals while shutting down thousands and thousands of retail, uh, small and medium sized businesses. They're saying now, rehire us. Would you hire anybody who had done such a lousy job? If you had done such a lousy job, would you have the unmitigated gall to ask somebody to rehire them? If you were cleaning up out their house, just say you did, you came and you clean houses for a living. And the people's house became trashier and dirtier every time you came to clean it. Why would they hire you again? Say you were a pool cleaner. And instead of taking the leaves and everything out the pool, the pool had more leaves in it when you left. The water was muddy when you left. And you say, rehire me. Well, this is what you have now. The Democrats, it's no use. To, we don't even have to talk about the economy. We don't even have to talk about crime, which is big enough. Those are the two main things. But let's not forget, they're the ones who told you, you had to go locked down. You had to be locked down. We had to shut down the schools. Now they say mental illness is up. Because of lockdowns. Now they're saying that we shouldn't ask for lockdowns. Matter of fact, let's just move past that. No, no, let's go back to the scene of the crime. You guys are the ones say it was necessary. The so-called disease expert, Anthony Fauci. The so-called CDC. All you guys, the so-called expert, the UN. All of these people, what's that? The uh, World Health Organization. Everybody says... We had to follow these strict rules. They had Deputy Doolittle over in Australia saying, it is your responsibility to do what the government says. Now all of a sudden, they're quiet. And they're asking you to put them in charge again. 
Look at all these economic summits they've had over the years. They were meeting when they were telling you that you needed to lock down, but they wasn't being locked down. Gavin Newsom was going to, to uh, different events. They had the Super Bowl uh, in uh, California, and they all were there unmasked. Barack Obama had a party. Nancy Pelosi was getting a hair fix. Laurie Lightfoot was getting her hair fix. And all these people at the same time were telling you that you need to stay locked down. Governor uh, Gretchen down there, who's Obama is campaigning for her, she told you you had to stay in the house. She wanted to punish you. You had a loved one in the hospital, you can't visit them. You say maybe the last time I see them, they said we don't care. In some countries, they were sicking dogs on people. They were One people who had a funeral at uh, this facility, and they had the chairs sit down and separated. I don't know, it looked like about 12 or so people in there. And the son, two of the sons looked like they tried to sit by the mother because they was weeping. Their father had died. This fella came up and reprimanded him. You see? It's my privilege to have been asked to conduct our service today to celebrate the life of Alan Wright. I therefore offer you all a very warm welcome as we unite in love and friendship to You move those chairs back over there. Well, if they want to get COVID from their mother, and if the mother don't mind the sons being there, what business of it is of yours? See, these are the folks who really need to be locked up. The people who act like this. You remember all those idiots were screaming in the store for people in there with no mask on? Nobody has given me a good explanation yet. You tell me that uh, the mask works so well, you're screaming because the other person doesn't have a mask on. If I have a security system for my house, not like the security system that the Pelosi's had at their home, we don't know what kind of security system that was. But if I have a security system at my home, I'm not concerned if my neighbors have a security system. I'm not going to be outraged because they don't have a security system. They're putting my life in danger. Does that make any sense to you? But these are the folks who are saying, rehire us. The Nancy Pelosi's. The Joe Biden's. Just go down the line of every governor and mayor who told you it was their responsibility to close down the government. But you had people like DeSantos who opened up things. Greg Abbott opened up a little bit earlier than the other ones. And these people were saying, I dare you. But the same folks, the AOCs, the governor of uh, Illinois, were all going down to Florida. Gret, uh, Gret, uh, Whit, 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 uh, the Gretchen, the governor down in Michigan, she was going down to, to Florida. They all were going down to Florida, but they were telling you Florida is doing something to endanger people's lives. Now, these people want to ignore what they did. See, this is a hit and run. And now they don't want any investigation. They want to go, Paul Pelosi, just call me an Uber driver. Let me get home and let's forget about whatever happened. The so-called experts were wrong, but they say, rehire us. Why would I rehire these experts when they are proven not to be experts? They have failed their job miserably. They should have been retired a long time ago. They should have been put out in the pasture a long time ago. Joe Biden, Chuck Schumer, Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, Joe Biden. They all should have been put out in the pasture a long time ago. But they keep getting in office so they can finish destroying the country. Can anybody argue have they actually solved the problem? You've had 30 and 40 and 50 years to solve the problem. And you have not solved the problem, but you say rehire us. For the midterms, you have to be a special kind of stupid to think that they can fix it now. This is the same argument I was made in the 2020 election. Why would anybody vote for Joe Biden? For the simple reason that he's had 47 years to fix some. You can't name nothing he fixed. You don't have to be a Rose Scholar to figure out if he didn't fix it all this time. Now he's hiding in the basement and he's lost his mind, literally. And you think that he's the one who's going to fix the problem. See, common sense has to kick in sometimes. Self-preservation 
has to kick in sometime. The people have done nothing but lie to you. And they won't even admit to their lies, even though we've proven time and time again they've lied. The same folks that destroyed your business, the same folks that ruined your job, the people who had people fired, city workers that were fired, now they're saying, rehire us so we can finish the job that we've already been doing for the past two years, which is absolutely nothing. If you hire this to us this time, we guarantee you we will finish destroying the country. This is technically what they're saying. What are they really running on? You can't name nothing that they can run on. What can Nancy Pelosi run on? Nothing. What can uh, Joe Biden run on? Nothing. What can any of these Democratic mayors, governors, senators, or whatever, what can they run over? Run on. They actually adopted the Biden uh, administration's uh, program. And that program has failed miserably. Your 401k is down. Gas prices is up. Inflation on everything is up. Crime is up. Mental illness is up. And what they're doing now is still sending money to Ukraine. What they're doing now is trying to make it mandatory for kids now to take the COVID vaccination. What they're doing is talking about the LGBTQ plus community. They're not concerned about you, but they say hire us now again because the Republicans will destroy democracy. You've already done that. Now, we can blame the Republicans for assisting them. We can blame some of them for allowing their agenda to pass. None of Joe Biden's plans should have passed. Nobody should have signed off on this. Matter of fact, even when Donald Trump was in there, nobody should have signed off on anything. I'm not okaying any Democrat plan. All their plans are trash. All their plans is no way but to destroy the American people. They have not done anything since they've been in office. And now they're saying re-elect us because we want to finish our job that we started. Well, what job did you start? Oh, the job you start started was that of destruction. I'm not interested in that job. I don't want any more of the job that you said that you actually started. No, thank you. I'm good. They're saying, no, we insist. We insist you allow us to finish the job we've been doing. Well, let's look at what you've done. You closed down the government. Now you're saying that was unnecessary. Is anybody going to get fired for that? Is anybody going to be held accountable for shutting down the government when they knew it was not going to work? Is anybody going to be responsible for your actions, ruining people's lives, people who had to bury their loved ones and didn't even get a proper goodbye because you wanted to control them? You wanted the economy to do so bad because you were upset because the orange Hitler had the economy looking good. There was no wars going on in Ukraine. There was peace in the Middle East. Your 401k was looking good. They said that wasn't good enough. We don't care if anybody else is doing good because we want control. If we, if we have to destroy the country in order for us to get control, so be it. We don't care about the American people. That's what they're saying. But they say rehire us and we'll show you how much we really hate you. What kind of campaign could they actually run on? Do we have a bunch of zombies still supporting these people going to rallies? Why would anybody listen to Barack Obama going to a rally for whoever he's rallying for? Katie Hobbs, Governor Whitman. Why would anybody listen to Barack Obama? He's not credible. He has a failed presidency. Matter of fact, this is his third term. So all Joe Biden failure, throw it in the bucket with Barack Obama's eight years. And he think he can campaign and fool somebody. The gig is up, sissy. Nobody's paying attention to you anymore. So take your heel to beast and y'all ride off in the sunset. Go go spend time at your beach houses or something because we're not interested in what you, you, you're selling. We all full up on crazy now. We don't need no more crazy being sold to us. Nobody's listening to Nancy. Nobody's listening to Joe. Nobody's listening to uh, Bernie Sanders. Nobody's listening to Mitch McConnell. Nobody's listening to the warmonger by the name of Lindsey Graham. Tell Lindsey Graham to stop his catitude instead of attitude. Stop his catitude and go play with his cats, his 15 cats. Tell him to put his nut huggers back on and go play with his cats because we're not interested in what uh, Lindsey Graham is selling. Tell him to go back on Hunt, uh, uh, Sean Hennedy's show and they can provoke the Ukraine war. Sean Hennedy, Sean Hennedy, as far as I'm concerned, he's trash now. He can never re recuperate from what he's actually done. Kept on promoting the Ukraine war. He was completely wrong. He's a blowhard. We didn't have to worry about these wars 
Was there any wars going on when Donald Trump was in there? The Middle East was signing peace agreements. Your 401k was looking good, but you were offended about tweets. This is insanity. This is madness. But they say, re-elect us so we can finish doing what we've been doing to you for the last two years. You would have to be insane to listen to them. 